Hello guys, so uh, quite a few people wanted me to do a tutorial on this material, this anisotropic material in F-Storm. Um, so I just wanted to quickly show you how I did that. So here you can see it's rendering. Uh, so let's create a new material, F-Storm material. Apply that to our little, little pot. So the first thing we want to do is to make this a metal material, so make it black, white reflections, glossiness, uh, something like that. Yeah, and it's shiny. Um, so let's add some, you know the key here is to uh, to use an f-storm noise. Using bitmaps doesn't work very well. So if you're using f-storm noise, let's I set this to tiling 1, 1 and 100. And I like to uh, lower the iterations as well. That way you get more, you can see if I have 8 iterations, there's like more detail. If I lower it, it's more you know, flat. It doesn't really matter very much um, because it's it's you can see the uh, the anisotropic effect is coming to life a little bit, but it's of course too big. So let's change the size, and now we'll have some wicked effects here. Um, and this happens when you have too small noise and too strong noise. So if you go back to this main material and lower this, let's start with 0 0.1. That's not good enough. 0 0.01. Uh, still too much. 0 0.001. And it's uh, starting to look good. So we have our anisotropic effect. And basically, you're finished. Uh, but let's add a little bonus. So make a material, uh, make a copy of this material. Make this uh, just a little bit brighter. Lower the reflections here a little bit, and the glossiness. So let's make a mix material. Link these ones here. Apply this to the model. So if we go over to 100% this material, you can see that it doesn't look very much um, anisotropic anymore. But now. We'll have, I have this texture, it's from Grant Warwick. So if you go into his site or his website or Facebook or not, I don't really know. Anyway, you can find this somewhere. He shared those for free. Uh, so I use this and put it into a color correction to have some control over it and put it into the mix texture. So you can see there's some interesting things happening, but it's it, now the the mix looks more like a like a coating, coating, and I want it to look like dirt. So let's um, tweak this a little bit, add up the contrast a little bit. It's still mixing a bit too much, so. Let's offset it a little bit. Oh, right. I have to invert it, actually. Otherwise I get too much of this and too little of this, so I want to change place of them. And I think that our material is ready. Let's just let this render for a little while. Hmm, I can't wait anymore, this is good enough. 51 seconds, good enough. So let's just uh, copy this into here. And you can see that it looks a bit different compared to the image that I uploaded on the group. But all I've done is add in a camera raw filter, um, color, color balance it, increase the contrast a little bit, increase the clarity a little bit, I don't know exactly, but 
Yeah, anyway. It's a bit noisy still. So, thanks to the noise, you can't really see the details, but they're there. You can see them here. You know, these these small details in the, in the dirt. It's looking really good. So, guys, that is everything you have to know. Good luck.